Hello, my name is Mark Dietz. I'm a Hawker 4000 customer service engineer with Textron Aviation. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the APU on the Hawker 4000. First, let's show you how to get the APU hours. There are two ways to get the hours for the APU. The easiest way is with the APU running. Go to the upper right drop-down menu on the Copilot's MFD and click on Maintenance. Then go to System Diagnostics and Chapter 49 APU. Click on 20, Auxiliary Power Unit, and then on APU Hours. You will have to confirm that this is what you want to do, and then the CMC will give you the APU Hours. The alternative method to retrieve the APU Hours can be done without the APU running. You'll need to place the maintenance switch in the forward avionics cabinet to the APU position, making sure that you push the switch in once placed in this position. Then select the APU power switch to on. The rest is the same as with the APU running. Be sure to deselect the APU power switch and place the maintenance switch to off when you're done. Caution, do not select APU power switch to on without the maintenance switch in the APU position because the APU will start. There can be many reasons that the APU will not start but the following sensors are a good place to start. The low oil pressure sensor should read less than 5 ohms. The speed sensor should read 25 plus or minus 5 ohms. The oil temp sensor should read less than 60 ohms. And the EGT sensor should read between 2.7 and 44.86 millivolts. For this information and for more help on the troubleshooting, please consult the Honeywell manual in the CMM Chapter 49. The Load 20 Hawker 4000s have an APU unattended mode. When in this mode, the controller will automatically shut the APU down if the airframe is experiencing problems. These problems can vary from fire detection, pack overheat, or bleed air leak. For a complete list of CAS messages that will shut the APU down, See the Maintenance Manual, Chapter 49-20-00, Table 503. The APU will go into unattended mode three minutes after start automatically. Understand that just because your APU shuts down does not mean that you have a problem with your APU. If you find that you do have problems with your APU, please refer to the APU manuals in the CMM, Chapter 49. If you're performing troubleshooting on your Hawker 4000 and have the APU running, you can prevent the APU from going into unattended mode by selecting one engine fuel and ignition switch to on. If you have any questions, you can call us at 1-800-HAWKER2 or email us at hawker underscore 4000 underscore support at txtab.com. Thank you for your time and have a good day.